Hello my friends, my name is Steve Maniv with Steve Maniv Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat, or share my knowledge on anything boating. Today will be the first of many videos that are gonna be dedicated to daily boating news. So, what does that mean? Um, I'm going to pretty much scour the web uh, for articles, press releases, um, interesting videos on boats and etc. So, uh, let's just get started. You'll see what the format is, the format will change, you know, wh whatever. We're just going to go with it. And uh, I know that everybody's home uh, because of this virus thing. So I figure um, instead of me going on Netflix and doing that kind of stuff, uh, let's provide some content for the boating community. And I'm doing this for you guys. Uh, there's really nothing in it for me other than maybe a little bit, a little bit of branding, um, and uh, and really what I really want to do is just push the industry forward a little bit, and just help out. I mean, even a little dent is fine, but okay. Uh, so let's do it. Maybe let's start with. Um, so I've got some things. You'll see the format. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, all right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to, every time I do a video, we're going to start with the marine industry um, public stocks because that'll give us a good idea of how the uh, industry is doing as a whole and then we can kind of get a, you know, the warm and fuzzies of where it's going, if it's going down or up. Um, it shouldn't really worry us. Um, because it's always up and down, but it's a nice kind of daily shot of how it's doing. It'll be quick. So this is it. Um, today's uh, not the best day, but it's not the best day overall for stocks anyway. But look, um, I've compiled most of the public, um, most of the public uh, stocks that are related to the boating industry. There's going to be some that you're going to be like, why isn't West Marine on there? Well, West Marine is a privately held company. It's not public. So uh, where's Mercury? Well, Mercury is owned by Brunswick. Uh, you know, what about Garmin? Well, Garmin's owned by, you know, um, Garmin's owned by Raytheon. Yeah. No. Garmin's not owned by Raytheon. Ray Marine is owned by Raytheon. Garmin is owned by Garmin. Let's see. Chad, let's see here. Yeah, let's add them. All right, so look, this is the first video. So whenever, whenever you think of a boating related stock, let's put it in here. Let's make a, let's make a, 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 a power portfolio for the boating industry. Uh, I've got the big dogs already. I've got most of them in here. Um, but let me know, let me know. Or if you want me to take off one because it's silly, let me know. Um, you know, I want this not to be kind of one-sided. The reason why there's comments is so that you guys can tell me what you want to see and whatnot. Uh, and then we'll kind of build it from there. But today, let's just wing it. Okay. Or trim tab it wing trim tab bad joke but okay uh, <laughs> does that even make sense no okay so let's go on to the next thing if you were to go on my site stephenmuneev.com and you scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see that I have boating news if you go into it you're gonna see all these articles now I did not write them um, but what it is, is it's an RSS aggregator of all the boating industry related uh, articles, press releases, etc. that I've put into one place. So this is kind of like a one stop shop for anything boat related. Um, so if an article comes out, it's going to come on here pretty close to, you know, like immediately. Um, so let's go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go th every day. We're going to go through everything, every article, every press release. And today, let's do yesterday and today's. And then tomorrow, we'll just uh, we'll do everything that's that just comes out. Okay. 
let's try to make this quick. We don't want these videos to be too long. The Summit 54 offers timeless lines paired with the volume and stowage you need for longer voyages. Okay, so the Summit 54 is this boat right here. And looks like it came out. They, ha they wrote an article about it. You can go on their site, check out their stats and their options and their pictures, and it's cool. Let's keep it going. Um, some of these are, even though they're boat related, you know, they're not really, you can choose to read them if you want. Just read, <laughs> read the titles. Uh, how to grill pompano in the, the fish. So that's a recipe. Uh, New Jersey trophy bass. So um, striped bass off New Jersey uh, gives anglers a shot at trophy sized catches. Uh, that's cool. Um, how to fish with versatile, abundant, and appealing peanut pogies. That's interesting. Fishing South Padre Island, Texas. That's an interesting article. This is an article that a lot of people are going to like, specifically Floridians, because in Florida off the coast, you're going to you can catch some dolphin when they're in season. I enjoy it. I don't know anybody that doesn't enjoy catching dolphin. Um, and for you kids out there, the dolphin is not the porpoise dolphin. It's the mahi mahi. You know, just in case. <laughs> um, how to tie the spider hitch knot. That's cool. Spring striped bass on fly. So if you like fly fishing, that's cool. Uh, protect your skin with these top selling sunscreens. Okay. Three great cameras to improve your fishing photos. I prefer the iPhone. Uh, Vitus Maxwell Boatyard Tip. So, Vitus, uh, which is really well known for, I would say, bow thrusters. Um, other stuff too, but I know them very well because of the bow thrusters. Uh, they've got a tip that their captain Bill Pike uh, wrote this article. Modern classic is what the Yachts, Yachting Staff magazine wrote for their title for the Burger 50 Cruiser. So the Burger 50 Cruiser and this is it. You go to their site uh, burgerboat.com. It's under construction but it shows you a little bit about them. And basically, they are, it's a couple-sized yacht with classic lines and a slippery hull bottom. And it gives you a little bit more info. Powered with twin 600 horsepower Volvo Penta IPS 800s. Uh, 26 knot cruise speed and a 31 knot top end. Okay, check it out. If you like that. Uh, again, that is going to look like, let's see, let's get you a close up of that boat. Oh, oh mm -hmm. let's get a better shot, please. Wow. I'm pretty sure I saw before. Hurry up. There we go. It's got nice lines. I like it. It's nice. Okay. Keep it going. Um, so Yachting Staff also writes about uh, boathouse auctions and this Connecticut based um, uh, auction house has three uh, boats that they're going to go on auction but they're changing the dates it looks like so it's going to be for an 86 foot Hatteras an 87 West Bay and an 80 foot Sunseeker Stamus 31T Aventura first glance okay um, so the second and smaller model in the Aventura lineup and it comes with loads of fishing and family comfort features let's check it out for a second so that's what it looks like. It looks like it's brand new. There's some Suzuki's on there, 
twins. Um, so it says in the fall of 2019, we extended our lineup, uh, the center console boats that they have, but it looks like they just wrote an article about it. So just trying to get, get some momentum. Okay, so we, we went through all the today's articles and press releases in the body. Not that much, <laughs> um, but let's give it to you. Uh, virtual boat show promo. So have you heard of a virtual boat show? Hmm. Virtual boat show. So the power and motor yacht mag, which I'm sure you see all the time at the, uh, at the shops, convenience stores, where the magazine section is. Everybody knows that magazine. Okay. I, I, I started looking at it. Uh, I stopped it where he says, what is a uh, virtual boat show? So I'm going to play it. We're going to listen to it together. It won't take too long. And I'm going to probably just stop it right away. Anyway. So what is a virtual boat show? What is it's it? It's a space that we're going to be creating across all of our titles websites. Okay. We're going to house editorial content mm -hmm. as well as sponsored content okay. in a virtual exhibition space. So the editorial Great. content is going to be driven by our powerful team of editors across all of our titles like Power Motor Yacht, Passage Maker, okay, Sail, interesting. Soundings, Trade Only, Yachts International, and Angler's Journal. This content is really what He just read everything that was attention. right here on the, the left virtual exhibition space is an to his head. Exhibitors to okay, you out. get you you get the picture. It's a virtual boat show, and speaking of virtual boat show, which is really interesting, I don't know if they were them and Denison Yachts or Denison Yachting um, talked, but uh, that's funny because Denison Yachting. I keep thinking Denison Yacht Sales because they used to be. Denison Yacht Sales, but they rebranded to Denison Yachting, which I may do one day too. Um, but I am Stephen Money of Yacht Sales right now. So speaking of virtual boat shows, Denison Yachting, the brokerage uh, house, very big, very cool. I like them a lot. I respect them so much. Um, and shout out to Drew, my boy over there. Um, he turned me on to um, video production. Um, if you like my videos, um, my inspiration came from Drew and, and, and the guys at Denison. I mean, they do great videos. Um, I don't know anybody that's doing it as good um, at such a high volume. So I'm really proud of them. They're doing great. Um, they're pushing the industry forward. Um, so this is their virtual boat show. And basically, they had a live stream for a couple hours today, um, and it just ended. Um, they have virtual tours, they have walkthrough videos, which you'll find on their YouTube site, which do I have up? Yes. So if you go to their site, um, they've got some dope videos. Um, they had a live... Hold up. Is it live still? Let's check it out. No, it's not live anymore. It ended. But it was looking like this. I'll rewind a little bit. So anyways, they were basic, they're basically, um, they were live streaming, which is really cool. Um, and it was like this virtual boat show. So you could do that, you can listen to that. Um, and uh, also you've got behind me, that guy right here uh, is a, it's either a bot or a real salesman that will um, answer your questions. So that's nice. And what else do they got? Make a deposit, boat show pricing, then you can go into their other cool stuff. Okay, so you get, you get it. So they had a virtual boat show. Talk to an expert, hit the docks. I wanna hit the docks. Let's see, super yacht dock, okay. Yeah, 
<laughs> Look at this. Wow. I need some music. Look at these. Oh. Wow. Okay. Anyways, let's keep going. So, uh, we, we saw the virtual boat show for um, for the mag. We saw the virtual boat show for Denison. Um, this is an article about just be safe out there, guys. Uh, manatee zones, uh, no egg zones. Just just be safe, okay? Because even the boating industry is not going to sugarcoat stuff. You know, like they're even writing articles about you know. You know, two sea turtles were hurt by a boat. You know, like, let's be mindful of the ocean waters because even though it's big enough for all of us, we still have to respect it and everything in it. So uh, be mindful of that. Uh, let's see here. So this guy shares memories made during a summer boat program that took the power and motor yacht team from NYC to Martha's Vineyard. So you can read about that. The Cool Coop. So the Ocean Alexander's 45 Divergence Coop is a slightly smaller offering than Ocean Alexander, usually serving Oh, then Ocean Alexander usually serves up, but the day boat has all the seaworthy and luxury characteristics of the builder's larger yachts. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So this is the boat with quad mercs. I'd like to see that with quad 450 racing mercs, or uh, I wonder if they can put quad 425s. You know, so maybe you guys can comment below if you know about it, but um, are they only tied to Mercury? Can they put Yamahas on there? Um, check this out. See how the sides go out? Everybody's doing that now. And you know, uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of Intrepid. I sell a lot of Intrepids. Um, Intrepid just did their 477 evolution on the port side. Uh, there's a platform that goes out, and then on the starboard side is there typical um, swinging dive door so this is cool it's a two state room I bet that table goes down to fill in so you could uh, two couples two private couples and one large person or two small people can sleep in the uh, on the couch so it's 47 overall, 47 and a half overall length. Uh, it gives you the stats. You can look all, look it up. It's really pretty. Looks nice. A little boxy, but um, but it it actually serves a lot um, because it's all enclosed and it's got a really big spacious uh, back. And you can walk to the front. This is nice. Okay, let's keep it going. The NMMA, MRAA, uh, pen joint letter in response to COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so that looks like something you might want to just brush up on. Check that article out. The NMMA provides updates on the COVID-19 stimulus package. Okay, so I'm sure we've all heard about this already. With the U.S. Senate passing the nearly two trillion economic relief package late, late uh, night, late last night, and the U.S. House of Representatives expected to follow suit this week, NMA has um, compiled a breakdown of provisions in the legislation that the association helped secure. So let's go in there for a second. Here, um, let's see. Let's see. Let's just see for a second. Sorry, I was just removing myself for a minute. Um, so read the article, go in here. 
There's a comprehensive, uh, they basically outline a lot of it, but they, they have a, oh, I gotta go into it again, sorry. They have a little overview. So if you want, go ahead and screenshot that and then screenshot that and you should be able to see what that means for you voters out there. Okay, let's keep it going. So the Boating Industry uh, Magazine has put out an article. It's called Facebook Launches $1 Million Grant Program for Small Businesses. Um, wow, okay. Let's come back into the shot. There I am. Okay, uh, Mastercraft. Oh, Mastercraft joins others in temporary suspension of manufacturing. So them and a couple other brands. Um, looks like they did what a lot of other industry uh, brands have done, which is shut down temporarily so that this virus doesn't keep spreading. Hella Marine appoints new Midwest representative. Okay, congratulations to Charles A. Perry. I should get I should get a button that claps. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, little by little. Okay, boating industry now accepting nominations for the 2020 Women Making Waves. Go and vote. Wake and speed limits on a crowded lake. Okay, so let me just stop there. This goes on. This will keep going. Okay, I'm not gonna be here all day. But I will do this every day, or I will try. So we just so this this article starts on it's from the 25th. So go ahead, go back. You can keep going and read articles all day if you're a big reader. Um, but I just covered everything that the boating industry online has put out because I was able to grab it um, through RSS feeds. Um, and I think I'm the only one doing this. So this really is like a one-stop shop. Um, and for the one or two that I couldn't grab from, it's because they don't have RSS feeds. And what's up with that, you know? I mean, I'm giving people free advertising here. so. I won't I won't mention them, um, but other than that, uh, I've got I've got most of them. Uh, let's see. So is that it? What else we got? Um, so that's all the news for today. So that's this is look. This is the first video. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't hate. Um, this is what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come in. Hopefully it'll be a little shorter. That was two days worth. We're gonna to try to do one day's worth. I'm gonna to try to hit it up in the morning. We'll get everything that we didn't get to see the day before. And then every day we'll just kind of cycle it. I will try my hardest, I promise, to keep this up. Um, if not, that means I'm too busy making money. No, <laughs> that means I'm, uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I have to do other stuff, but I'm gonna try really hard to do this for you guys. For the boating community, um, what did I want to show you? We saw that. Yeah, that's it. Look, my name is Stephen Muneev with Stephen Muneev Yacht Sales, and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat, or share my knowledge on anything boating. From center consoles all the way to super yachts, you can connect with me through phone, email, or any of my social media channels. I'll see you on the water. You've earned it. That was nice for a first video. One take, baby.